Well, it's the day after the big reveal of the Mustard Seeds radical renovation by Hero Work. It was an amazing day, full of hoopla. There was mayhem everywhere. I didn't get a chance to do the iPhone update to show you what we did. So now we get to do it today. You can see that the entire building has been repainted with beautiful new signage. With the, with the, the, uh, the awnings have been redone. The trim has been done. We, in fact, built this custom-made garbage area here that encloses these bins. They're going to be put in sometime later to, uh, tomorrow, but now we've got these great sliding tracks that hide everything because we made the building so beautiful that we then don't want the eyesore of the garbage cans there, so we closed that all in. It's great and gorgeous now. We've got all the new lines here with power spray and everything. We've got some new artwork coming up on the walls. Come on in. This is the Food Bank Client Services area. And so this room has completely been redone. Rudy, the food bank, uh, uh, assistant food bank director, was in tears when he came in here. If you watch, the, see the tears, man. You'll uh, have to see the documentary film on June 18th at 9 p.m. on check. But this is our custom information kiosk here, completely rebuilt. We've got new power pole coming down with internet and uh, electricity. We've got great new chairs here for people to wait in line with. We've got brand new painting, brand new floors, lights all the way through. We've got these custom-made wraps to protect the edges so they're not going to get broken. We've got nice new desks, new storage, new chairs, new task chairs. We've got privacy glass in here so people, when they're having private conversations, they're not hearing everybody talk back and forth. So that's really good for clients who are coming in. We've got new signage throughout the entire place, which is really important for the workflow of it. And we've opened up this uh, window space so that now they can double the speed of which they serve their clients, which is a big thing when people, you know, they don't want to wait for a half hour, 45 minutes in order to get their food. And so that's just a nice way to go about it. We're coming in here to the reception lobby area now. You know, looking here, we've got new floors, we've got new lighting, of course. <coughs> There's paint everywhere. This here, this is lovely. Jessica, the receptionist, was in tears when she saw the size of this window. Because before we had bars here, we had glass blocks. We had a window that was this size. It felt like you were really confined. But if we go into our reception office here, you can see that it's completely redone. With new countertops, new lowers, new floors, new lights. You know, everything. New, new filing cabinets, new countertops. Beautiful colors that she just, you know, loves to death. This is a fantastic room. We've got this uh, wall right here, which is a custom-made um, whiteboard. So it looks like a wall, but this is in fact a whiteboard done by Sherwin William Paints. And it's got to cure for another week before we can finish it up. So that's going to be really helpful for them. Let's take a look at the bathroom, because the bathrooms are probably one of the most transformative elements here. This bathroom was completely gutted and changed. We've redone the plumbing, we've opened up the urinals, we've stainless steel, we've got beautiful tiles on the bottom, we've got tiles four feet up the wall, so now it's going to create hygiene, that's really important. We've got quartz countertops, underground sinks, so now we can have better cleanage. All the taps work, bump by our new lowers, we've got huge mirrors, so now we've got a nice aesthetic sense to it, new dispensers, this has been repainted with new hardware, new toilets on the inside. Every bathroom, all five bathrooms in this place has been redone. The ladies' bathroom in here is just as beautiful. They got more countertops, there are more six in there. This is our bread station that they serve bread and coffee on every day. Again, custom made lowers, granite countertops, shelving and storage underneath. And look, it moves. We've got this is all on wheels because they need to have flexibility because they keep changing the coordination of the rooms. This, of course, is the highlight of the entire place. It's not quite as clean because they've gone through probably hundreds and hundreds of people who have been in here using the facilities today. But still, you know, the, the feel of this place is just gorgeous. This, this commercial gray flooring that looks like wood plank. We've got this beautiful artwork up here that has a real sense of radiance to it. We've got these storage closets here that just roll back and forth. Now we've got the whole room that's feeling tidy and clean. We've got our music control booth here that's completely built and secure with a custom-made storage cabinet, nice new windows up top. We've got brand new lighting everywhere up top, new conduit. Every light, every fixture, every plug in the place has been completely redone. Check out these chairs. I'm telling you, these chairs used to be the ugliest thing around, but this is beautiful. It's not only beautiful, 
This kind of fabric is used in hospitals. It's used in care homes. You can spill whatever you want on this and it wipe, wipes right off. It's expensive, but it's worth the quality. These have been refinished. But check out this stage. Oh my God, this stage is crazy. This used to be some ugly carpeted thing, but now this gives you a real sense of, of spirit, a real sense of belonging, a real sense of you know, people care about this place. So this, just gorgeous, the way they put this in. Come on down here. So the, the, food, the, the clothing bag is a bit messy in here because they're just putting it all back together again, but this, a month before the makeover, fell down. It almost hurt somebody, but now we're, we're completely up to code. It's super strong, not gonna be damaged in any way. This room used to be a storage area. It used to have freezers, locked up, fridges, cabinets. We had a rubber floor, we had a black ceiling, we had antiquated lighting. All of it's been rechanged. New desks, new everything in here. It's absolutely gorgeous. We go in here into the volunteer slash youth room. This is a beautiful room. We got these great tables here. So one of the challenges in this room is that the tables go up, they come back, they go up, they come back. The room keeps changing, the configuration keeps changing. So we have these custom made tabletops here that, that come out down like this. And now we've got functionality. We've got functionality when they're down, and we have beauty when they're up. And it's just a great way to have a solution that's both flexible and works on all elements. We've got this lovely new furniture over here that's just really comfortable so that people can relax when they come in. There's artwork every place. You know, the artwork is just beautiful. It makes them real and feel like there's a sense of home. We've got all these new countertops here that we put in. Got this fridge for volunteers. The list goes on and on. We got Tom O'Shiro's office that was redone. We got the housewares office that was completely redone. And we come back here, you can see that this handicapped bathroom completely redone with granite with quartz countertops and lowers and mirrors and toilets and fixtures, with lighting and flooring, everything completely redone. This flooring down here, all done. Let's check out the bathroom. One more bathroom. One, we're looking at three out of five bathrooms. So new toilets, everything. I mean, I mean, what do I got to say, right? Come on. Great. The people, the companies, the community that's come together to make this happen has been unbelievably astounding. I mean, I'm the guy who put it together, but there's two big rewards for me. It's all the people that you get to work with, all the inspired tradespeople and lay people that all came together and to organize it. And then you get the clients that are coming in here every day now and feeling like they have a sense of homes, feeling like community cares. And the staff, they're so grateful that they've got a space that works for them now. So I'm just, I'm glad that we made it happen. It's done, it's over. I'm feeling a little tired now. I'm gonna go sleep for a little bit more and uh, watch a movie tonight, that'll be really great. And if you look to, if you want to see the reaction on their faces, if you want to see the tears in Rudy's eyes and Jessica crying and, and Brent Palmer speechless, which never happens, watch the documentary film on June 18th on Czech TV, 9 p.m. That's a Tuesday, put it in your calendar. It's gonna be amazing. It, make sure that when you're on your couch, you have a box of Kleenex beside you because you're gonna need it. Talk soon. <laughs>